Oh, how I miss you, said one guy to his girlfriend. Just kidding, this is what I said when I was putting this video together. This was my very first time to the Philippines Islands. I gotta tell you, this was unforgettable experience. Before I go on, let me just tell you, I never intended to visit the Philippines. In fact, I never even heard of such a place before I had a job interview where my potential boss said, you know, it would be required of you to go to the Philippines if we end up hiring you. I was like, sure, why not? Let's do this. Now you gotta understand that this was not a vacation for me. I actually ended up working there more than 8 hours per day and 5 days per week like everyone else did. But I did end up going to a few pretty places during the weekends. Since we only had two days to waste, we first went from Malolos Bulacan, where I stayed, to Pangasinan, where we went to the beautiful waterfall and a few other pretty places. Although if you were to look on the map, it's gonna show you that the distance from point A to point B is only 2 or 3 hours, but it always takes twice as long as that. The whole trip to Pangasinan took us over 5 hours, but it was totally worth it. We stayed at my friend's parents' house, and they were super cool. After we came back from a long hike, we ended up drinking tea and singing songs until very late. Early in the morning, we left to 100 Islands National Park, Alaminos City, Pangasinan, where we spent the whole day eating amazing food and swimming in the warm, salty ocean. The locals took us on this awesome speedboat to couple islands, and then we ended up spending the most of the day on Marcos Island. The weather was not the best, it was a bit rainy, but we still got to enjoy a lot of sun and the crazy heat. Luckily, I had my waterproof Samsung Galaxy S8 smartphone with me, so I was able to record some footage in the water and even made a phone call to USA from underwater in the deep ocean. That was so cool, I don't even know how I came up with that idea. My nephew picks up the phone, what's with all the noise? I was like, never mind, I'll call you back later when I'm out of the water. Yes, my phone still works perfectly fine, and I'm not even sponsored by Samsung. If you have ever considered going to the Philippines, I strongly advise you to do so as soon as possible. Even if you're in super tight budget, you can still have a lot of fun. Is it safe or not to go to the Philippines? I don't know. Depends on what safe or not safe is for you. Keep in mind, I grew up in Mother Russia, so just about any other place on Earth is safe to go to. Filipinos are the most awesome and friendly people you'll ever get to meet in your life. The places we went to weren't even anywhere near to what you can find in the Philippines. Check out other videos on YouTube by other tourists and you'll get to see some cool drone footage of absolutely astonishing places. Going back to the Philippines this year is definitely on my to-do list. I'm actually planning to be there twice this year. When you go there, don't forget to take your drone and a really nice video camera with a gimbal stabilizer. I'm definitely taking my drone and couple GoPros next time I'm going there. I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed being there.